What's up everyone? Welcome back. My name is George Ivanov and I want to stop here for a brief uh, motivational, I guess you can say, tip. Uh, why am I stopping by today? Here's why. I used to, I'm a wrestler, right? You guys all know that. Well, I before matches or before big tournaments, I used to always get really nervous, okay? And I'm dropping this off today because I know state tournaments are approaching uh, for NCAs, you know, national tournaments are approaching. And, and so, I used to get really nervous before big matches, okay? I used to, you guys, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this feeling, you know, before a match, you start thinking too much, you start getting, uh, you know, nervous, you start getting the butterflies in your stomach, you get the, your your hands start sweating, you gotta go to the bathroom 17 times before a match, uh, you know, you f forget the, the plan, you forget what you're supposed to do when you step out on the mat, so it, it gets very difficult and it gets frustrating when you train you know, all the, this whole year you train your butt off and then you go there and you forget what you're supposed to do because you get super nervous. Now, here are the tips, three things. What do you control in your life, okay? Three things. The only thing you control is, number one, your thoughts. What are you thinking, okay? That's where it all starts. Number two is your images. What are you actually visualizing in your head? And number three is your actions, okay? What are you actually doing? So here's how this works. Your thoughts. Why do we get nervous before matches? Because our brains are naturally telling us that, hey, this kid looks really, really tough. Um, hey, uh, your legs are tired today. Maybe you should start getting nervous about this. Um, hey, well, what if, all the what if scenarios, right? What if you can't finish your shots? What if this kid's super strong? What if you get tired and you gas? What if, uh, you know, all the negative things? What if, what if, what if? Forget about it, okay? You need to start thinking only only positive things. Only positive things, okay? I'm tough, I'm prepared, I've been working my butt off, I know I'm in shape, I know I'm smart, I know I am ready for this match, I know my technique is superb, I feel amazing, right? Only positive thoughts. As soon as you catch yourself thinking something negative, slap yourself, say no, stop, and immediately transition to, uh, turning it into a positive thought, okay? That's number one. Number two, your image. What are you visualizing in your head? I'm not gonna, you know, I used to visualize myself uh, shooting but not finishing a shot or uh, getting super tired, you know, my head being down, um, all the negative images in your head. Uh, the other kid's getting his arm raised, okay? Getting hurt during a match, you know, all the negative thoughts. You can't do that. A negative, negative image, negative thoughts cannot give you a positive outcome, okay? So, how do we transition this? We switch it up. My images become uh, me feeling great out there on the mat, me being energetic, me making the other guy tired, me shooting and scoring every single time, um, him attacking me and I score off of that, um, me finishing on top every single period, you know, feeling amazing out there, um, my arm getting raised in the end, at the end of the match, you know, all positive images. That's all you can do, okay? I guarantee you, if you guys do these first two steps, you're gonna feel amazing going out the, during your matches. And number three, though, is the most, I don't know if it's the most important, but just as important as the other ones, acting. What are you actually doing, okay? We need to execute that, okay? We need to act upon it. We need to actually implement that where we're thinking positive, we're visualizing positive, and then we go out there and actually do it, okay? We don't stop there. We actually do it. We execute our moves. We warm up well. Um, you know, we think about our performance, not what he's gonna do, okay? We think about the things we control. We're not gonna worry about what he's doing or what the ref is doing, what the other coach is yelling. We're only worrying about what we control, which is our mindset, our images, and our moves, okay? We're only gonna worry about our moves. Our warm up, we go out there, we're confident, and we start attacking, okay? Uh, that's my message for today, guys. The three things you control your thoughts, your thoughts, your images, what you visualize yourself doing, winning, okay? And your actions, okay? If you guys do that, if you guys start now, think about this, if you start now and your national tournament, let's say for college is what, two months from now? That's 60 days, okay? If you visualize yourself every single day winning a national title, okay? By the time you get to the national tournament, you would have been a national champion 60 times think about this 60 times you would be a national champion before you actually wrestled that match in the finals okay so that's something to think about and you would wrestle someone that that's their first time getting on the mat thinking oh I'm here now what okay you guys have the advantage when you do that this is my message for you today I hope you guys are all doing well it's a beautiful day 
uh, go kick butt and remember the three steps. Thoughts, images, actions. You guys are awesome.